over here to the el box elder tree and notice an invasion. I had no clue what these bugs were when we first moved here. They were on the south side of our house, you know, taking up the whole wall practically. They um, really love to soak themselves in the sun. But they're attracted to the box elder tree and called a box elder bug because this is their primary um, food source. If you look right here, the um, let's see if I can get this to show up. Try a sunnier one. The pods kind of look like maple pods and they're also attracted to maples. And if you look back here, that one right there is a maple tree so I've got plenty of food for them here in my yard they're climbing everywhere up and down the branch of that dead one and then the other tree on the other side of my house where um, I first noticed them back in 2006 that was a box elder that we lost also and I have no clue why all these trees continue to get damaged and die. They can, you know, be a really pretty tree, but I, I don't know if they're affected. Like, you know, Dutch elm disease um, killed the other two trees, one there and one there. And I think there was another one. But there's silk spying on us. I thought it was amazing. These bugs are actually harmless, but I find that um, after reading about them, the reason they were on the south side wall sunning themselves was they were getting ready to move into my house for the winter. They don't actually cause any trouble or do any damage or have their kids in the house, but they do um, try to like hibernate for the winter in the house. And I read the vinyl siding was one of the biggest um, places that they could hide in because there's so many cracks and crevices and openings from the siding being um, on there where my house is kind of like four by eight sheets with one by twos on it and I guess they can get into the one by twos under the siding We'll go over and take a look at the the south side and see if there's any over there. This side, what do you call it? Um, I don't see anybody there, but I've started putting some siding in between where they can hide there. It's a beautiful fall day. The honeysuckle is got its blooms going, the, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's an, when it's small, it's an edible plant. Um, I'll, there's a butterfly. The congregation should be coming down pretty soon. I saw the swarm up in Mech, Michigan the state above us beautiful but on this side the they're not over here yet because the elder tree box elder here was damaged and we have to remove it so by removing this tree we kind of removed the bugs from this side of the house don't see any evidence but normally um, when this tree was alive this whole side of my house would be covered in the bugs and I've um, I know you can take borax and mix it with water and spray them and kill them but they're actually a harmless pet the only what do you call that um, they're a nuisance pest they're um, Basically, because we don't want them in our structures. I don't see any on this tree. Go over and walk it and look at the maple and see if they're over there. But you have to excuse the house. We're a rehab under construction. And 
you know, working on the house when we have the money and the, what do you call it, ability to um, physically do the job. No box elders here. I don't see any evidence other than the maple. And I don't have any ash trees. But we'll go back over to the box elder tree. The pecans, uh, for some reason with all the rain we had this year, we have very few pecans and the squirrels have already went nuts over them. Right, Silk? And I'll get a close-up of the bugs for you. Some of them seem to be orange and black around the wings. Here's a baby one. He's pretty much all orange. little guy right there that one is black predominantly with a little bit of orange it kind of looks like two species on the same tree like all kinds of babies on this side. What's this? That's got a big old hornet, but... That's a wasp or a hornet. It's not focusing. There's lots of them there, big ones and little ones, but they could hide behind the wood and make themselves a home for the winter here. Hopefully that's where they'll stay. I read that occasionally they'll come in, you know, if they're in the house, they could come in and, you know, nip on your house plants, but they're not normally you know, visible in the house. What are you doing there? But if you want more information, I'd suggest you do a little research. I don't know everything there is to know about these bugs other than they're nothing to worry about. And I'm glad I'm, they're on the tree and not the house. 
that's my um, video for today. Thanks for watching, and look at the wings. so much for that. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Happy gardening.